Well, happy Sunday, everybody. I am here for my final day and kind of realized that I basically have seen everything except for this uh, monastery. There's actually two monasteries I haven't seen, but I am going to be going about a 45 minute walk. I just, cause I want to not take a taxi, but I really would just want to see other random things that I could like run into. So I'm going to be heading out over to this monastery. I'll show you guys in a second or in a little while. And um, yeah, I'm just going to probably just try and edit these videos. One downside of this country, and I don't know if this is just true for Bosnia or maybe the area or anything else. I have the slowest internet right now and um it's taking me i think about six hours to upload i think it was like a 20 minute video or something like that so i don't know if it's just the area or if it's just my place or whatever it is but yeah the uploads um are taking forever and i'm trying to upload my first video i have another video from yesterday and i'm going to be making a video today so we'll see what happens but probably by hopefully today but maybe by monday uh i'll have uh the videos um uploaded so uh we'll see but yeah let's go check out this monastery i won't tell you the name until we get there but um yeah let's go see what we can find join me Now we ran into an Orthodox church and I didn't even walk like two or three blocks from this place. Um, it's actually, yeah, kind of um, beautiful and open, kind of a little park like around it as well. But really love the architecture and love just like kind of the scenery right here. Um, it kind of leads down to some more, just like more quieter areas and kind of some woods over on the backside and stuff. But. Yeah, it's beautiful. Let me see if I can record inside. I'm doubtful, but let's see. That was actually probably one of my most favorite churches I ever went in. It was beautiful. I love just the acoustics, um, just like playing through the speaker and everything else. It was just really, really, really nice. Um, I was pretty shocked walking in there, like how beautifully detailed it was. It was just amazing. So, wow. Um, it's a cool little um, sculpture over here. We will keep going. The restaurant Piet Yezera. The restaurant Piet Yezera. Um, I don't know what this place is. I just kind of bumped into it, but I think maybe have a beer or a drink or something to cool me down. I've been out in the sun, so let's go check it out.
found this little restaurant drinking a dollar beer and checking out this monastery that um, I'm going to be seeing here pretty soon, so not that bad. And it looks like there's a park that's going to be going through, so I'm going to go walk through and show you guys. But um, yeah, definitely if you have time or if you're around the area, stop by this place before you go over to the monastery. It's not even a, a 150, 150 meters away, so not that bad at all. Not a bad spot at all. As you can see, this is the restaurant behind me over here. I think it's a nice touch too to have like a little playground for the kids. There's a lot of kids here and stuff, but also there's a couple of little uh, lakes over here. Nice little bridge right over there. And as you can see, the monastery is just right over there. So I am, I'm gonna go walk around over there. It looks like there's a walkway going towards it. So yeah, it's beautiful, very peaceful, nice out over here. And <laughs> it's kind of in the the most random spot. I, um, my map said it took me, uh, it takes me about 45 minutes to walk. Um, and it's basically been Right around that time, um, I did make some stops in between, obviously, in the video. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a nice little walk to go over here and uh, just see all these things. And the monastery is uh, what I'm basically here for. So, um, I actually saw it in my last video taking the taxi home. And the funny story was um, that... Um, that little village that I went to yesterday, and this is advice for people who go, make sure you figure out a ride back because the taxis don't always come. There isn't a bus from what I know. Again, I'm very ignorant here, so someone in the comments can let me know. But um, to get back into the city, I waited for like about an hour and I got burnt like really badly on my shoulders. And um, uh, yeah, it took me basically an hour to find a taxi and get back. I sat there and I just waited and waited and waited and finally I got something. So make a note of that um, when you go over to that spot. But yeah, I am walking up through these little lakes over here and we will get to the monastery soon. So I have to walk around. So go to the right, don't go to the left. I think there actually is a part on the left you can walk around, maybe I'll try that, but um, the clearest way is to the right. So I would swim across if I got like 10,000 followers. If I was like promised 10,000 followers, I would totally just swim across and doing it, but not today. Oh well. So, I guess the whole thing is fenced off, so I think I have to like walk all the way around to do it. So don't try to go through the restaurant to get into the monastery. There, there were some gates that had doors, but they were all locked. So I think I just have to walk around to the entrance to the monastery. I don't even know if it's closed or open, but I guess we will go see soon. I'm just walking through this tall grass hoping to not get bit by anything, so we'll get there eventually. So yeah, basically on the other side, it's just farm land forever. Um, just so much farmland. And basically, out over that direction was where I did the video uh, yesterday. So kind of goes along the uh, highway and uh, cuts over, but I am over here, finally at the monastery.
such a big and beautiful place. I'm already noticing like a lot of nice gardens, cool little statues, and just beautiful buildings and everything else. It's lovely here. I don't want to take a break over here in the shade. It's so hot. My shirt is all sweaty. I'm trying not to get burnt. Maybe I might take a taxi back just because the amount of sun that I've taken in the past couple days is just insane. And my shoulders are burnt. Um, luckily I have a good tan over on the forearms and uh, uh, my face and everything, but wearing the tank top kind of screwed me yesterday. Not sure how old this place is. Um, I obviously will put it in the description, but it is very, very well kept. Um, just the garden, the flowers, roses, um, the buildings and everything else are just look beautiful and it's very clean and it's just well maintained. And I love that. I love that um, they take a good importance on this, especially for a small little town too. So that's very nice. Such a beautiful place. Such an awesome place. Definitely would recommend taking this either a little walk or just taking a taxi over here. It's only not even 10 minutes from the city if you're taking taxi. So I highly recommend everything here. It's just beautiful. I think that taxi home probably sounds good. I'm getting really hot over here. It's, I think, uh, 90, like 25 or something like that. It's, or excuse me, 20 or 30, like 30, 31 right now. It's, it's hot. I actually don't think I'm allowed in this church because um, I'm wearing shorts. Um, I know that can be a rule for uh, some other places, for I, I think for a lot of Orthodox churches. So I'm not sure, but um, it looks like uh, they're not really letting anybody in right now. So it's just kind of more the outside area. And I think, I'm not sure if it's here or next to me over here along over here or up here is where the living quarters are for the nuns. Um, I'm imagining it's these uh, ones next to me over on the side, not the big building. Um, might be both, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, probably walk through the front. Actually, there's a little building over here we could check out. And so I uh, um, walked up to the door and she was just like, mm -mm, don't come in. But she kind of let me peek through the uh, door a little bit. And it was beautiful. The Orthodox ch churches here are just next level. They're amazing. So I'm um, going to see if I could check out over here. It's pretty much closed. They have this little thing over here.
before they go and light the candles over here. There's a little fountain over here. It looks really nice. Beautiful, awesome, amazing. The only unfortunate thing is make sure to bring pants when you go in. Even if uh, you're walking around in heat like this, maybe go uh, put a, bring like a pair of jeans or something like that to maybe uh, switch into or I don't know, something like that. You could be uh, creative with it. So I think maybe I'll start walking back for a little bit. Maybe uh, find a uh, taxi kind of rinse my face off a little bit. Feeling all right, so uh, maybe we could run into some other things. We'll see. So I think I'm just gonna walk it. I'm gonna do it. It's so hot, but I'm going to push through. I'm already part way there anyways. But um, one thing I've noticed is um, walking along, going over to the monastery is that all these houses are so beautiful. And I kind of notice, I get this like feeling a little bit. I'm like somewhere in, you know, with the heat and everything, I feel like I'm like in Arizona, um, kind of, uh, the kind of the middle of California or uh, New Mexico or something like that. It's just kind of uh, how the style of houses are, but all the houses here are pretty nice and uh, pretty well kept. And I don't know if uh, this area is kind of uh, um, kind of like vacation houses or you know what the story is over here. People in the comments, please let me know. I'm really curious. But um, yeah, all the houses here are uh, they're great. They're really nice and. Um, I, I wouldn't mind getting a house around here. It's super cool, you know, just kind of a quiet little city to uh, go and relax and everything. But um, yeah, it just do does give me that kind of a uh, deserty vibes and everything, so. But I'm just going to keep walking back, get myself home and uh, probably just uh, call it a day, relax and, you know, have some food and, get ready for tomorrow to go back to uh, Belgrade. So again, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm sorry for taking so long to upload these uh, videos. One, the internet is just uh, terrible here. I don't know, I think it's probably just my apartment. But, um, and um, I've been busy for the past couple of weeks because of uh, new clients and everything else. Obviously I still have to make a living and make time for it, but I'm trying to continually make more videos and make more trips like these to uh, just random spots. Um, I noticed there wasn't really a lot of travel videos over here, so I thought, hey, what a good opportunity. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.